Hello, hello. How are you? How are you? Uh, how are you this evening? Is my voice too soft? Um, let me see. Ha? Let me fix it a little bit. Our internet is a bit laggy-ish today. But yeah, but now I think it's a little bit better with some drop frames here and there. Um, so, hey Rome. Hello, what's up? So, my plan was I was gonna walk you through um, like how do you set things up? Um, how are you gonna set up MetaMask? How are you gonna set up like Ronin? Uh, okay, let's start with that. What is Axie Infinity? Axie Infinity is basically um, you play a team of like three creatures, para siyang Pokemon, but with three creatures. And you fight another, you know, group of three creatures. No, that's the arena. And also, there's another sort of like gameplay where you progress through levels, you beat like some random monsters. Um, and that's what the that's that's essentially the gameplay, no. Um, now, the mechanic is very simple. It's it's very close to like the original Pokemon, at least the like the basic Pokemon, no. Um, which is you have your fire, your plant, and your water Pokemon, and then para siyang cycle, no. Na fire beats plant, plant beats water, water beats fire. Ganon. So, may ganun din. May mga classes yung mga axes nyo. And then, also, your axes, how you sort of use their powers or use their abilities is you use cards. So, each axe, they have different cards. The cards are determined by the body parts of your axe. So, basically, ganun lang siya, no? Um, you have axes, they have different abilities, and um, you fight other axes or, like, you progress through the adventure. Um, so that's essentially how Axie gameplay works. Okay. Now, what makes it different? What makes it different? What makes it different is that, diba, let's say you play um, Mobile Legends or let's say Dota uh, or Valorant. Um, there are items there that you know you 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 essentially buy with real money, diba? Um, So when you do that, when that happens. Uh, the real money becomes the item, and then that's the item. That's it. You know, you use the item na. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But how Axie did it was that they associated like real value to things in game. So for example, the ba yung yung team of Axies mo sabi ko you have three Axies. Um, the Axies themselves have a value. You can sell the Axies themselves, no? Um, you can siguro it goes for around hundred eighty dollars to upwards of like two hundred thousand pesos. No, um, crazy, crazy, crazy amount. So uh, of course it depends on like um, how good your axi is. No, so yun yung yun yung that's one of the things. No, also as you progress in the game, you earn items. You earn tawag sa kanila SLPs or smooth love potions. Okay. Um, Yung smooth love potion sa yon, so every level you beat, you earn SLPs. Every arena battle you win, you earn SLPs. Those SLPs can also be eventually exchanged for money. How? So essentially, you exchange them into Ethereum. And then Ethereum, they're tokens kasi that's like built on top of Ethereum. So essentially, you exchange them for Ethereum. And then your Ethereum, that's you know a cryptocurrency, that's a coin that you then exchange for cash. So you can you can turn your sort of like gameplay into money, no? Um, and that's how it works. Is it real? Um, we are we are pretty new in our journey, so we can't claim the SLPs yet. But it's very obvious, naman, how it all works. No? Thanks for the like, uh, Francis. Salamat, salamat. Um, so it's very obvious naman how it all works. Um, so what happens is um, yun nga, when you exchange it for money, then it's money na. Um, now na, baka narinig nyo, there's a lot of scholars, no? How do sco how how do, how do scholarships work? Yan, yan, sabi ni Kevin, tama si Kevin. You can also sell um, SLPs. Yan. So pwede rin ibenta SLP sa Binance. So essentially ganun, no. I I'm skipping a few steps, but yes. So normally you 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 know you move your SLPs all the way to Binance. You transfer them to your Binance account where where you can sell them. The man, ang price ng isang SLP right now is six pesos, no? 
Um, so yun siya. SLPs, I think the movement isn't so big. So normally people exchange it to Ethereum and then exchange it to um, to money because mas maraming gusto ng bumili ng Ethereum. Uh, medyo niche pa ang SLPs kasi fairly new pa ang Axie Infinity. So ngayon, you might be hearing a lot of like, um, what are scholars? Rome, salamat sa follow. Um, what are the scholars, no? So scholars, basically, what happens is that, for example, ako, I own Axies, I, I lend my account. I'll, I'll show you sort of how that works later. But I lend you my account to the scholar. No? I lend I lend you my account. I lend my account to the scholar. And then the scholar plays. So the scholar can earn on average mga around 150 smooth love potions every day. Okay? So how much is that? Around nine, uh, 900 to 1,000 every day. Tama ba math ko guys? 150 times 6. Yeah, 900. No? Tama math ko. So mga around 900 pesos every day no um so that you know they earn 150 slps every day and then what happens is that you then exchange parang uh ikaw as the owner of the axis you have you you own kasi sort of like the 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 master account you can think of it that way no pinapahira mo lang yung parang qr code for them to play the game um but you still own the account so normally what the managers do managers naman yung tawag dun sa may ari no axis what they do is that they will encash it like every X day of the month or whenever it re reaches a certain threshold, they will encash it and then share sila. And then you share. Thank you, Paolo, for the like. Ay, for the follow. For the like. For the follow. So, so, mag uh, So, so, sorry. Where was I? So, um, yung tokens, you eventually turn it into money. And then yung money na yun, yun yung split nyo between the scholar and the manager. Normally, the scholars get mga around at least 50% to as high as 70%. And of course, the manager gets the, the rest of it. No? Um, I think ang going rate ngayon, nakikita ko around 60-40 to 70-30. No? Um, so, it's it's good. It's good. Hey, hey, Paolo. Hello. Um, so, it's good for the scholars no? because it's a way that they can earn from you know playing because you can actually play this game on an Android. So, ganun siya. so a lot of people I know some people who are like buying axes they earn a little bit but their main intention is that you know they want the scholars to earn something out of it also so different managers have different ways of choosing um kusini scholar nila some managers would prefer scholars who are really good at playing and they have a pretty good cut like 70 percent as scholar and some managers choose scholars na kailangan ng racket you know they need the money so that's that's what happens so today what i'm gonna do is i will be showing you how to set all of that up uh, wait uh, caveat i am not uh, i'm not gonna show you how to set up the scholars yet i'm gonna show you how to set up an account so that you can start playing axie infinity right uh all right see so cute ng background mo. Background lang. Sige. Okay. Sige. <laughs> Joke lang. So, um, let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. Adidu. Thank you for the follow, Adidu. Hello, hello. Okay. Ay, ayan na. Kita nyo yung calculator ko. Okay. So, this is, uh, this is like a blank account. Okay? Like, wala pang anything set up. Completely new Chrome profile. Yes, yes, feel free to ask questions, definitely. Um, so, the first thing you do is you set up a MetaMask wallet. What is MetaMask? So, essentially, MetaMask gives you an Ethereum wallet. What's a wallet? Pagsasabi nila, what's a wallet? A wallet, you can think of a wallet as your employee ID. Parang ganon, sa Ethereum network. So, when someone sends money to your employee ID, then you know it that that money is now associated with your wallet or with your ID. No, yun lang siya. It's a string of numbers that is yours and it's your ID. Um, how you keep it safe, of course, is there are like passphrases, passwords, etc. But at the end of the day, para lang siya account number. Yun yun yung you can think of the wallet address as an account number. 
Um, sige, Adidu. I, I, I'm gonna answer that in a little while. Ingat, baka mapakita ang secret phrase. Oo nga, actually, bago to lahat, Kev. <laughs> kaya, ang tagal ko nag, kaya ang tagal ko nag-online kasi sinetap ko talaga na parang okay, dapat walang makita. Okay, so yan siya. So this is where we are. Okay, so question ni Adidu, how can I turn my SLP into W? ETH. Um, so you can do that through uh, MetaMask. You can transfer it all the way to Binance, and then sa Binance you can, you know, convert it into um, into into whatever token you want to convert it to, or into whatever coin you want to convert it to. You can use Binance for that. Um, I believe you can also do that on MetaMask. You can convert your tokens into wrapped Ethereum. Um, but yeah, that's something that we will discover because we are able to do that on July 4. So we'll try that out and we'll show you how that happens. Uh, yeah, yeah, meron din naman sa Ronin Bridge. Yun nga, I, I'm not exactly sure how that part works. So what I'm gonna show you, not yet, not yet. No, um, I will, when I get there, I will, I will show how that happens. But for now, I will show you, I will show people how to set this up. No, um, okay, so this is like your Google profile. First thing you do is you download a MetaMask extension okay metamask is an extension be very careful because when you search for metamask uh, let me move these other things here no para hindi there you go no worries no worries adidu okay lang tanong lang ng tanong walang mali sa pagtanong pare so uh, so ingat kayo because maraming scammers na may isa kong na click dati metamax so, so, pero kamukhang kamukha niya yung site, no? So, make sure you go to metamask.io. And then, from there, you can install the extension, no? You can download, yan, install Metamask for Chrome. Naka-install na siya sa atin. Okay, so, I skipped that part. Um, so, ito muna, dito muna tayo sa Metamask. So, the first thing you do, you'll see here, yan. So, welcome to Metamask. What happened there? I clicked on this fox face. So, nice siya, sinusundan niya yung mouse song. Um, yan, nag, medyo naglalag. Yes, ayan, medyo naglalag. Yes, uh, yung internet ko is a little spotty. I apologize for that. Uh, pero hopefully, it's it's uh, it's it's good enough. Um, I'm not gonna be streaming something that's high frame rate naman. Don't really need to see me. It's buttery smooth. <laughs> so, ito muna siya. So, anyways, yun nga. I click the fox and I'm now in MetaMask. Um, yeah, the decentralized web. So, when you press get started, okay, so what is a secret recovery phrase? So, when you create a MetaMask account, what happens is that it will give you a string of words, no? Around uh, 12 to 16 words, I believe, to 20. Um, and yun yung parang secret Brace that's that will give you access to your wallet. Okay, be very very careful with that. Make sure that you don't store it on your computer. Wag yung ikapi. I mean, be very careful about like storing it in a in a text file, for example, because that is a recipe for disaster. Okay, so do not do that. Uh, make sure you uh, either write it down somewhere or you store it. Somewhere encrypted, like for example, if you're familiar with KeePass, you can save it in KeePass as well. Um, Oi, salamat Ken. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Yan si Ken ang nag-introduce sa amin ito, the Ken and, and and his friends, no. Um, but yeah, so MetaMask and this is new, so we'll set it up. So we'll create a wallet. Help us improve MetaMask. Da 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 da. Okay, so they this is basically an opt-in thing. Always, you know. Uh, sige, fine. Okay lang. I agree. Okay, now this is the password that I will enter. So, ano gusto yung password? Ga? Hindi, joke lang. Wait lang. Let me enter a password. <laughs> so, ito muna. You're gonna be stuck with my face while I set this password up. Um, let's see. So, let us use... Um, ano ba? Okay. So let so basically right now guys I'm just entering the passwords. Um yeah, I think I can share this with you now because I have entered the password. Um this one. 
So I enter the passwords and just gonna say we read and agree to the terms of use. We create, okay? Before getting started, watch this short video to learn about the recovery phrase and how to keep your wallet safe. Okay, so um, watch this when you're setting this up. I recommend that you be a little bit more praning uh, because there are a lot of scammers out there. There, It's all digital, so there are ways of getting into it. Is it less safe? I wouldn't say so. Um, I think it's pretty safe, but security does depend on you. Okay, so you have to... Make sure that you know you follow best practices when it comes to um, keeping security. So we press next. To siya. So yeah, no. So makita nyo. Click here to reveal the secret words. Yeah. So hindi ko na hindi ko muna siya papakita. Wait lang. Yeah. So yeah. So there's a set of secret words here. I will save in my thingy. Okay, so I am saving this in an encrypted file, no? Um, okay, so yeah, so in this screen, there is a set of words: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, twelve. Yeah, so there are twelve words. Take note of the words, write them down. And that's your secret phrase. Okay. Next, it will ask you to confirm that you got the secret phrase, okay? So basically, it gives you a list of words and then you just enter it in the proper order, right? So I'll do that right now. Wait lang. Let me see how I can show show you that um, without compromising um, myself. <laughs> Ayan. So there we go. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. Behind this notepad are the words that I have in my secret phrase. Um, so my task now is to select the words in the proper order. So well, that's what I'm gonna do now, right? Um, so the proper order. So, so yeah, so okay. Uh huh. Number four, and then. Sorry, yeah. It's a bit involved, and you know, I, I mean, I like it because it's running. Okay, 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 okay. Confirm. All right, so yeah, so now congratulations, you passed the test. Keep it safe. Yes, okay. Be careful of phishing. MetaMask will never spontaneously ask for your secret. No, no one will ever ask for that secret phrase. Okay, so never provide that secret phrase. Face phrase. Um, that secret phrase is tied to your wallet. Okay, um, there is a one-way hash algorithm that basically converts it to your wallet. So. Um, you know, never share your secret phrase. Ikaw lang dapat may alam no. Hey, and you're all done. And now this is our MetaMask account. No? So now we have a MetaMask account. We now have an Ethereum wallet. So this 0x and then this string of characters here, that corresponds to my, again, my employee ID or my Ethereum wallet. No, no worries, Yatong. Yes, uh, this will be saved. I'm streaming on Twitch and Facebook. I believe it's gonna be saved for like two weeks. And I think Ginger will sort of edit this because she is the master of that in her house. Yes, Ginger suggests that you can store your passwords in apps like KeePass. Um, so KeePass is an encrypt encrypted database, no? So you save one master password. I do recommend that you store your secret phrase separate from like your passwords, no? Like if ever a separate KeePass account pa talaga. Um, the you know, um, yeah, might be overkill, but yes, that's like a safer bet for me. Okay, um, so now we have a MetaMask account. Now we will go to Axie Infinity. Okay, Axie Infinity. So it's axieinfinity.com. So madali naman tandaan. Uh, so click this. So be careful, guys. No, uh, a lot of sites can copy exactly what other sites look like so be 
aware of that. Um, but as long as you're in Axie Infinity, A-X-I-E, and then Infinity, and as long as marunong kayo mag-spell, you should be safe. Okay. So now, we shall go into Marketplace. And this is this is where you buy stuff. No? Okay. Um, hey, thanks, Jinj. Yes, kita nyo naman support ng asawa ko. Kaya ako siya asawa. So, yan. <laughs> so, makikita nyo, ito yung mga axes. These are the little animals that you used to fight. Uh, like this guy. Look at this. It's worth $383 or 0.18 Ethereum. Ito, look at this. 0.8987 Ethereum. $1,900. That's almost 100,000 pesos. Crazy, no? You can also buy eggs. But you don't know what parts they're gonna come up with. You can see their parents. So that's the thing. There's also breeding in this game that allows you to make kids that you can sell. That sounds bad, no? Parang puppy farm. Pero yon siya. Pero yon. Um, so, okay. So this is Axie Infinity. One thing to note in Axie Infinity, if you press play now, you will be confused because you'll just download your, you know, the thing. But you're not essentially... You, you'll download the application that you need to play Axie Infinity. But you won't be creating an account. Create an account. Confusingly, you have to press marketplace. We are now in marketplace. Okay. Uh, move to a little bit. Yeah. We're now in marketplace, and then if you click here, so log in, you can see there's a choice to log in with your MetaMask. No, so you can use that. Yan siya. So since this was the account that we created, we now connect that account. Connect. Uh, message, Lunasia Kingdom. Yan siya. Okay, yes, approve. Yes, sign. Welcome. What should we call you? What should we call you? Please select a name. This can be changed later. Okay, natin. Team Arbo 00, for example. Alright. Okay, so this is like how it works. Um, now you have to set up your account. You have to set up your email and password. Stuff like that, um, which is pretty straightforward. So it's good if you can do that, definitely. Um, so actually, let's do that. No, email and password. Password. Wait lang. Ayan. So wait lang. Let me just hide my my screen um, and do that. No, basically, I'm just assigning an email and password. And then I'm also saving this in our. Uh, in key pass. Um, okay, so what am I doing? I am creating an email password combination. Save this. Okay, so now, as of course, I will now have to go to Gmail or to whatever email I used. Verify my email. A verification code doon. Papasok nyo lang siya dito. Sa code. This is pretty straightforward. And then you will confirm. There you go. So let me share it again. So yun na siya. So nagset up ako ng email and password. And that's it. Okay? Uh, may nakatry na ba bumili dun sa Big Bad Wolf na sale? Di ako maka-checkout. Magkano gas fee sa Axie? Grabe, sobra mong non-secure, Kev. <laughs> ano? <laughs> Kami ba kausap mo? Eh, hindi ko pa na try Big Bad Wolf. I am hearing a lot of news saying that a lot of things are um, out of stock. Gas fee sa Axi. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, like when we enter uh, some fees, no. So here's the thing. So when you when nandito kayo. So now next step. Eto naman. Meron naman siya list of things you have to do. You can unlock your own wallet. So when you some people, you know, you might think na, but hindi ko to nakiklik, hindi ko to nakiklik. Oh, hindi talaga makiklik. Dito ka magkiklik. Activate Ronin Wallet. So we click on Ronin here. So now we'll set up our Ronin Wallet, okay? Just a little bit. Oi! Sorry, guys. Let me move this here. Get started. Welcome to Ronin Wallet. I'm new, let's get set up. So, you know, for example, you changed computers, then it's it's easy to basically just import your wallet as long as you have received phrase. It's gonna be associated with that. So I'm new, let's get set up. 
we will enter a password. So guys, and password, no? So wait, huh? Let's see. Um So I'm I'm eating a password right now. Alright. This is it. So create the wallet. Okay, again, it's gonna go through the whole thing again, seed phrase and everything, because yeah, use a password manager, memorize it, write it down, store it in multiple locations like Voldemort's or Crook. So Voldemort is the original Bog 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 Bogado. Okay, one. So now I won't wait, let me just show my head because we will reveal the seed. Okay, so this is the seed phrase. I will copy it to my clipboard and save it in my thingy. In my um what do you call this? Um password manager. Okay. Alright, so we'll confirm the seed phrase. Okay, this is interesting. Iba naman yung way of confirming ni Ronin. So si Ronin naman, ask niya, okay, pasok mo yung word number two, number four, or ganon. So hihingi siyang random like words from your seed phrase. Um, Alright, so we... So wait lang, let me just get that. A word number two. Or Eve So twelve words deep. And we will press continue. Once we press continue, this is what we'll see. Your wallet has been created. Uh, so yes, remember to keep your seed phrase safe. It is your responsibility, okay? So remember that. Uh, there we go. Ing Fidel. Hello, EJ Kuli. Okay, so. Uh, so yun siya. Remember. Okay, so our wallet has now been created. Yeah, nakita nyo. So. We now have a Ronin wallet. Um, as you can see here, guys here. Uh, as you can see here, it now says unlock the Ronin wallet. So we're done with that step. Now we will attach the Ronin to the account. And so click natin yon. So ganun na yeah. yung parang metamask kanina. Oi, Francis, salamat sa 50 stars, bro. 50k uh boss solid na po ba yung 50k account meaning 50k oh oh sobra Magkaan i mean if you want to be competitive you can be competitive with 50k we spent 20k we're able to generate 150 slps every day ang sinabi ko we spent 20k di ba that's what i said ay atilen so yan siya and then we confirm and that's it your account is now set up yun na siya so ngayon, ang tanong, Teka, paano ako maglalaro? Diba? Okay. Okay. Laro tayo. So ito yung Mavis Hub. Ito yung sa, how do you download this? Again, download this, you click on play now, and then it download niya. If you're on the PC, it download niya dito. If you're on Android or iOS, you have to press on the appropriate button for you to be able to download the application. Um, but once you have it, so what we have is the PC version. No? So we are on PC. Okay, so we are on PC and... Um, wait, so let's log out para makita nyo. No? So yan siya. So it'll ask for an email and a password. So this is the email and password that we confirmed via email. Ito yung email and password ni Axi. Right? So... Lang, ha? Let me let me block everything with my giant head, and then let me log in. Lang email and password. Password. 
And then, meron siyang I'm not a robot. Pili ka ng kung ano-anong hinihingi niya. Recognize naman niya na hindi ako robot. Um, and then, we have... Uh, where am I? My OBS. There we go. Yan. And this is it. This is... Yan. Makikita nyo, I'm now logged in. Team Arbo 00. And we can play. Okay. Wait lang. I don't have a team yet. No, I created the account from scratch. I don't have a team. How do you get a team? Okay, so this is your account view. If you want to buy WF, this is the currency used to buy stuff in Axie. Okay? Um, you can deposit, deposit. You can deposit to Ronin. Eh. Uh, yep, go ahead. So yan siya, no? from the Ethereum network into Ronin, yan. So Ronin address, you'll go to your Ronin address. We'll copy this, we'll paste it here. You select uh, a token, let's say, yeah, select Ethereum, yun yung gusto nating bilhin. Hi, okay. So, okay. So, um, what's basically happening here is that it was uh, that transaction was for me to transfer from my MetaMask to Ronin. Kaya meron siyang ganong may max, no? Um, yun. So, wait lang. Ronin. Ayun. Okay, so um, I don't see where you can buy. Am I missing something? Because samba natin pwedeng bilin yung samba tayo. Kasi merong option to deposit straight into Ronin. Ayan, okay. okay. Merong uh, may way to deposit directly into Ronin. Ah, here! Derp! From here, deposit. Purchase assets on Ronin. Continue to purchase. Yon, okay. Yon. So that's how you deposit straight to Ronin. Alright, so how do you fund your Ronin wallet? Kasi dito manggagaling yung currency that, or the money that you use to buy stuff. How do you fund this? First way is to, again, let's go through that again. Go through that again. Um, we will click on Ronin, the extension of Ronin wallet. We'll click on deposit. And we will continue purchase. Right? And then we can purchase WF on Ronin. What's WF? It's wrapped Ethereum. It's basically a token that sort of converts to Ethereum. Uh, that is tied to Ethereum. No? Um, and that's the currency used in Axie. Why do they have it? It's just basically they made one so that it's easier to play around with and transact with in their marketplace. But essentially, it's, it's Ethereum. Um, so the first... Yeah, so ito, so, kaya, for example, I'm gonna pay you 100 USD, ito yung mabibili ko, 0 0.0453. Layo, di ba, yung kanina, <laughs> Axi, 0.89. So, ito ang layo, no? $100 na yon. So, if you proceed, yan siya. So, hingi siya ng email address and whatnot. And you can enter na your credit card, your debit card account, uh, your debit card or credit card number. And you can purchase directly into Ronin. You'll see here the merong ramp fees na 2.96 and then network fee. So my fee din si Ronin and my fee din si yung actual ito yung gas fees no. Ito yung actual like transferring on the blockchain fees. There's a fee for that. Um it's pretty low now. Uh like I think 3 days ago it was like at around $4.50. So it does vary. Yes, we will exit this transaction. That's the first way of funding your your Ronin wallet. The second way of funding your Ronin wallet is by purchasing from Binance through Binance, okay? So you purchase in Binance. So you buy Ethereum on Binance. You transfer your Ethereum. Basically, magwi withdraw ka from Binance into your MetaMask wallet. Okay? So magkakaroon ng laman yung MetaMask wallet mo, no? So once your MetaMask wallet may laman na, then it's a matter of yan. So you see, no, pinindot ko yung bridge 
open this, then it's a matter of pressing this deposit. So you're now, when you say Ethereum network to Ronin, you are moving from your MetaMask to Ronin. Make sure that you are on this blockchain, Ethereum mainnet, that, that you're, this, you're on this network. So as long as you're, you're there, then you should be good. And then yun na yun, yun na yung transfer ka. So again, may laman na kasi yung MetaMask mo kasi finand mo from Binance. And you, that's the amount that you're using to fund your Ronin wallet. And yun, lipat mo na sa Ronin, convert niya into the Ethereum, the WS that you can use to purchase things in the marketplace. Okay, so let's assume now, oh, meron na akong ano, I have ano na, I have Axis, I have money, I have W Ethereum, no, WS. Um, and now I'll buy. So yon, so we had some questions kanina, is 50,000 enough? Yes, that's more than enough to get started. You can get started with less, no? I think I I honestly think you can get started with 15. Uh, at least you'll get 100 SLPs every day, no? Because you can grind the money on adventure. It's just a matter of mas matagal siya. And I'll show you how grinding happens, don't. Um, but yon, this is like this is this is um um uh, you know, depending on the amount you pay, no? 50,000 you can buy a very competitive team um, you can like go up sa arena and earn more than 150 SLPs per day personally I learn from experience so we didn't really want to spend a lot um, we spent just uh, well con relatively no we spent 20k um, to buy our initial batch of axes because I wanted to see how the game worked I wanted to see ano ba yung like ano ba yung parts ano ba yung moves ano ba yung Achuchuchu nila, di ba? Yan. So, um, let's see, no? So, let's say, let's look for plant axes. Yan. So, when you click on this, you'll see uh, this axi, this auction is no longer available. May bumili na. Okay. So, basically, there are different stats for the different axes. You have your health, you have your speed, you have your skill, you have your morale. Health determines your HP. So, there are players who want tanks in their lineup of axes so they get axes with high health the range is up to 60 no so they get like 58 to 60 plus na axes speed basically kasi each axe has a turn order no my turn my turn sila dun sa every round um the higher your speed the earlier your round your turn is no uh why is that beneficial it's beneficial because you know Oh, una ka magdamage. Uh, there's a big chance na mapatay mo yung kalaban before siya magdamage sa In which case, hindi siya nagdamage sa yon. Anyways, that's what's yes. skill. Skill determines like um, when you play cards in a combo, meaning maraming cards sunod sunod ang nilaro ng isang axi. The skill stat determines how much of a boost um, that combo gets. Okay, so that's skill. Morale naman determines how good you are at making critical hits. No? So critical hits give you like around 200% damage. No? Um, and so it's, it's very powerful. So there are axes. There are people who buy high morale axes and then they bank on getting criticals. Um, very, very interesting yung mga strategies around this. Okay, ano yung body parts? You have the eyes and the ears. Okay, ito siya, yung eyes and the ears. Ano siya? Depending on what the part is, it gives it it adds to the stats of the axi. So for example, a beast uh, a beast part mas malaki yung increase niya sa moral if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And like a bird part mas malaki yung taas niya sa speed. And you have um, these bug parts um I think it's also moral. So ganun siya. So depend so for example, as you can see, this axi has mostly bug parts, hence kaya mataas yung moral niya. Or relatively. Alright. Um now. Um ano yung moves ng axi? The moves of the axi are determined by the different back parts, mouth parts, horn parts, and tail parts that this axi has. So for example, this this back part, the spiky wing. So it gives you when you play this card, it gives you an attack of 10 and a shield of 30 
and apply fragile to target until next round. So it gives other effects pa. Um, so dark swoop, it allows you to target the fastest enemy, etc. So that's how it works, no? Ano tong zero and one? That is the cost of playing the card. So every turn, you know, you earn a certain amount of energy that you can save for later turns, or you can exhaust. Yung mag exhaust non is determined by the, this number, or the one. For example, so for example, I have four cards that are one. Hanap tayo, let's see. Medyo mas mahal. Yan, makikita nyo, apat yung cards niya na one. So that means if I have four energy and I play four cards, then that's it. No, uubusin niya yung energy. However, if, I, if let's say I have four energy and I just play two, that means I'm able to carry over two to the next round. And then next round, mag refill yung energy ko, magpa-plus yung carry over. So, ngayon, mas marami kang combo magagawa. Yun, no? So, there are complexities like that that I think I, I'm not doing justice to at all. Um, and it's a lot better if you start playing it. Hence, my advice, be careful about buying at a high level agad. Because, like, a lot of the things we learned playing with our you know, mid-level team, I would say. Aside from that, the meta changes very quickly. What is the meta? Meta is sort of the game within the game. That's sort of the patterns of plays that people play, no? When we started playing, the meta was people had lots of high health axes. And they would they would hang on to that and then they would have like, um, like a high damage axe at the back. Like two high damage axes their thing. Um, yon. So, <laughs> meta, meta mask, tabu mo. Hindi, the meta of the game, no? So, yon siya. Um, and, um, the meta is now changing. I'm seeing that now, they don't really mind not having a super healthy tank, but they do have attackers that hit the back door. Diba kanina, nakita nyo tong Target the fastest enemy. Kasi nakapila yung axis mo eh. So normally, tinatamaan niya yung nasa harap, which is the tank, usually. But if you have this, then isiskip niya yung tank. I-attack niya yung fastest, which is maybe, for example, a bird. Na usually high damage here also. So, namamatay agad yung birds. No? So, so yon. So the meta has changed into that. Um, aside from that, the meta starting to shift again. I'm seeing a lot of um, high damage uh, uh uh, well, actually, yeah, high damage beast combos um, that are happening. Um, a lot of card advantage, drawing cards, gaining energy, stuff like that. So, what does that mean? Um, if you buy at a high level, if you buy, at, at, you know, ang ang worry ko, like my worry for you, if you spend a lot of money at the start, is that you're gonna buy without really knowing the game, and you'll probably spend it on axes that, you know, when you buy them, they might be. Like victims of the new meta, Baga. Sila yung designed to be beaten by the new team compositions that are created. So, um, right? Yes, Ginger said high damage tanks. Yes. So the meta is again. Marami ako na lately na they have tanks that aren't really tanky, but they have a lot of damage. So parang uh, not super damage, but you know at least they. Get some hits in before they die. So yon, no. So so I think start with some with a small amount and then you know do that. Uh, oh, oh magingat sa mga nagbebenta ng chapsui. Yes, madami na lolo ko jan. Oh oh, uh, that's my tip. Also, there are people who sell this P2P. Like help, oh, oh pare, bili mo na lang tong ano ko. You know, be you know, for example, if you join the Discord, you know there will be people who will message you if they see you're new. Be very careful with that. I would recommend, you know, if, if you're starting out, buy from the marketplace, keep it safe because you don't want your experience to be like a painful one at the very start, no? Um, and yun, and, and, and that's that's how you get started. Once you buy your first three axes, then you're good. Um, what we bought, and I'm not saying that's what you should buy, no? But what we bought is we bought uh, Medjo Tank, Medjo Damager, um, we bought a more utility na medyo lu- ay, ayun, medyo regret by I mean now we see na ay pangit pala ng isang card niya uh, but yun there's the, we have one that's utility meaning siya yung taga gain namin ng energy and stuff and then we have one who's our damager so yun yung yun yung pinili namin I, I would say it's average 
Um, so, you know, uh, it's not competitive. I, I wouldn't say it's competitive. Uh, it's very hard. I mean, it's not very hard. It's very easy to beat. Yung team namin, it's very easy to beat in the arena if you have like very good axes. One one thing pa pala, no, that I did not uh, mention is this, the breed count. What is the breed count? So, um, your axes can be bred up to a maximum of seven times. They can give, they can make babies. They can have sex up to seven times max. That's, that's essentially what it means, no? Um, whatever it is they do. Um, the higher the breed count is, the more experience they have doing that. Um, the more expensive it is to breed them. So, if they're virgins, meaning zero breed, no? hindi pa sila nabi breed. I believe it's 100 SLPs lang. Which is very easy to get. Like, one day, kuha mo na yon. Um, but like, every day, uh, you know, every breed, nagmamahal siya. Um, <clears throat> so, yun siya. That's, that's the... That's the that's the breed. No? So there are some people who don't necessarily grind SLPs. Instead, what they do is they breed. When you breed, you do pay with SLPs. So yun siya. So the SLPs are. That's also one reason why people grind because they will use it for uh, breeding. Thanks, Sai. Thanks for the likes. Yun siya. And that's it. No, once you have your three teams, then you are ready to. Uh, let me show you a bit of the gameplay. Okay, let me show. Oops, let me show you a bit of the gameplay. Um, let me just log in very quick here. Hi. Huh? I'm entering my e the email password combination of my previous team, not the one that we made, no. And now it's asking me to click random things to prove I'm not a robot. Grabe naman to. Log in. Right, now we're logged in. Share this with you. There we go. For breeding, magkakaroon din ba ng similar skills sa parent axi? Oh, good, 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 uh, good question. Okay, so... There is such a thing as recessive genes in this game. What does that mean? So just because a parent axi has a certain part, hindi sure, hindi 100% na that part is what will be inherited by the baby. Right? Um, like, each part, there's a, there's a certain percentage na, of course, mataas yung percentage that it's that part. For example, the horn or, or the mouth, it's a, it's a, ano ba yun? Goda, Goda mouth. So there's a high probability na that, and then a smaller probability of other mouths. So if you breed it with another axi that let's say has the same recessive gene, minsan ang lumalabas, actually usually ang lumalabas is the recessive gene. So yun siya. Kaya minsan kahit na pure, dalawang pure bin read mo, ang lalabas hindi pure. Because they have those recessive genes. So yun siya. So it's, a, it's sort of a gamble. It's sort of a gamble. Uh, scholar me daddy <laughs> Dude wala pa We're building up to a scholarship We are working something out With a friend who Is looking for scholars So stay tuned for that um, That's something that we will wanna do How many SLPs needed to breed? So yun nga, tumataas siya If it's a virgin, 100 SLPs If it's like If, if nakabreed na siya once It's like 100 plus 200, like 300 Like it, it rises a bit exponentially no? Um Hindi naman siya ganun ka-restrictive. Also, you need to pay AXS, access, no? So, you you need to have that as well. So, I guess you buy you buy those tokens that you use to breed. Uh, but, you know, I think it's a pretty good strategy because nababawi naman, there are people who are able to sell really good Axie, you know, Axie babies. Um, so, yeah. So, now we're gonna play Axie Infinity. Gawa tayo ng placement for scholars. Axi sumo. <laughs> Pwede. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. So let me just move. Sorry. Just move. These things here. Okay. At seven times, you can still use those. Per yes. Uh, uh, even after they have uh, like bred to their limit, you can use them for battles. Definitely. Di naman, di naman, they don't die. Naman, no? 
Um, note pala, no, there is a bug currently because the axis, you know, uh, they have reached the 1 millionth axis threshold. Uh, the problem is, the axis after that 1 million, for some reason, becomes slime. So, <laughs> weird, some weird bug that's happening. You can't play them. No? So, if you want to buy axes, you can't, you know, yun yun lang. you can't buy the newer ones. If you're breathing, that's the challenge right now. Okay, so, you'll see here, I have energy, 11 out of 20. I You use that um, to gain experience, to win SLPs. There are two modes, as I said, the arena and the adventure. Yung arena, ah, ito muna, pakita ko rin tong quests. Okay, so there's a daily quest that you have to do. You have to check in. Which is basically a button that you click. Let me move this a little bit, guys. Move a little bit. Okay. Yan. Yes. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Yatong. Happy to help. Yes. It's very interesting all, how all of this works now. So, the daily quest. Daily quest. So, every day, you can get 50 extra SLPs. How do you do that? So my daily check-in, so every day you just click a button. Super dale. And then you have to win five arena matches. No? So you have to win five arena matches. You don't have to have a high placement, a high rank. In arena, the higher your rank is, the more SLPs you win every time you win a battle. If you go below 800, you rank mo below 800. So the higher the number is, the better it is. Um, if you go below 800, you can win, and this will count dito sa arena matches na wins, but you won't get SLPs anymore. Okay, so yun lang siya. It's not the end of the world. Okay, uh, and then, also, you need to complete 10 adventure mode levels. Okay, so this one um, is pretty straightforward. Basically, you just play adventure 10 times. No? And you win adventure 10 times. You can actually win like an easy round 10 times. It will still count to that. And that's an automatic 50 SLPs that you claim. 300 pesos, essentially. Um, and then, when you play Adventure, okay, so this is Adventure. Um, when you play Adventure, you'll see here na um, I, I have 15 out of 100. What does this mean? Every day, you have a maximum of 100 SLPs that you can um, earn by grinding an Adventure. If you've reached the 100, yun na yung max. Okay? Hence, why the usual minimum that people set for scholars, you know, as a target, is 150 SLPs. You get 100 from doing, from winning any level in Adventure. Plus, you get these 50. So 150. Kaya siya 150. Anything beyond that is usually, they are usually wins from Arena. Alright? So let me show you how adventure works. Dito muna tayo sa level 10. The, the, I've noticed that the levels do increase in difficulty exponentially. So like, kung natalo mo to yung next level, parang ah, patay na patay ka. No, so, so you, you know, it's an incentive for you to grind basically. So sige, grind tayo. Uh, dito tayo. We'll try level 10. We're at 15 over 100. So what this means is we'll face 9 enemies composed of these different guys that uh, you'll see later and you will win ito SLPs in later levels I believe you you, you may win other things as well pero yun where we're at the most we win is like SLPs pa rin. I'll just show you this no um sha okay so uh, ito yung sinasabi ko na this, these are the cards these are the moves that you can make um so normally, my my tip, my my rule of thumb is that I, uh, every turn, my goal is to kill one fully. Why? Because some of these guys have regenerate, and it's annoying that you damage them, and then what will happen is that they'll just heal. Um, one thing to watch out for is shields. Also, Ito, this guy is in the middle of this like formation, which means she yung lagging ma attack. Okay. I'll show you how what that means. So we'll do this, we'll do this. This is 500, oh no, 490 damage. And let's add a little bit more and kill it. Okay? So I had four SLPs at the start. Now it's two na lang because I used it on the two cards, the one energy each, the bird. 
And then yung card na ginamit ko kasi kay Beast is zero cost. So yung four ko, two na lang. Okay, next round in this level, in this adventure level, I gained another three. Okay, I gained three energy. That's adventure. But I only, uh, so not carry over yun two, so five ngayon. So ngayon, pwede ako mag-combo combo. The maximum number of cards you can play is um, four cards per axi. Okay, and how many ax cards per team is determined by your energy. So I can play five cards max for the whole team. Um, uh, and four cards max per axi. In this case, I only have this guy, so we're gonna use him. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Wait lang. Um, so, uh, kasi mamapatay na niya. So the thing is, kasi guys, no, if you play four cards and you kill this guy, like on the second card, the last two cards won't hit, but it will consume energy. So, medyo dapat niisip mo rin yon. So, for example, in this case, kaya ang gusto ko, unahin ko na lang heal kasi mas gusto ko mag-heal muna siya. Masyado pong maaga para mamatay ka. Bata ka pa! Okay, so, um, so, and then we'll do this, and then we'll do this, and then we'll do this. So, that's yan. So, makikita nyo, 300 shield, no? So, that should be enough to help us survive. Okay. Yeah, so that's the critical damage. So yeah, so this is this guy, my reptile, is the is my tank slash damage guy. So he's like in the middle. Lately he's doing pretty well in the meta. Um of course Ginger is the one who wins arena games. She's really good at arena games. She's super competitive like that. Um so I'm gonna play this just to make sure we have some shield. I know wait, I think I may be able to kill this guy. So that's 470. May shield siya, may possible na shield siya. So we'll add a little bit more just, you know, for good measure. Might as well. Zero naman yun. So yan, we spent three energy. So this means that there are like three stages to this level. To level two, yeah. Kaya, kaya I'm trying to save my initial axi, my tank axi, because may dalawa pang levels. No? I don't want him to die again. So. Um, we're gonna heal, we're gonna shield our butt, and we are gonna damage someone. So that's around 240 damage. We need... two ninety ish Yeah, I think we can kill this guy. That's overkill. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, the shield siya. Sana mag-critical. Ayan. So, nag-heal naman yung tao ko. May Axie. Heal cards! Um, they're not that... Medyo iffy yung use niya. How useful it is. No? It depends on your playstyle. For us, it has helped us because normally, nagtitipid ng energy yung mga kalaban nyo. Especially if you're fighting other people. So, they will normally just play just the right amount of cards to kill you. But when we heal and when we shield up, that throws off their plan. So that helps us no? in that case. Okay, so this means my this guy of mine will die because wala na siyang card. 129, I'm pretty sure mamatay na siya. So we're gonna do this. This is 420. Uh, uh, overkill. Okay, ito pala, no? So may kita nyo, they're at the same level na. So, sinong tatamaan niya? These guys at the bottom will hit the one here. Kasi yun yung karo nila. Um, this guy in the middle, there's a chance that he hits this one or this one. So normally, I try to concentrate my attacks muna. Um, dun sa sure akong may mamamatay. So let's see. Ano nga ba yung logic ko kanina? Um, so, that's 300, 420. Yeah! Okay, sige. Let's kill this guy. So, my my reptile will die. Hopefully not. Oh, yun. See? Doon siya pumunta kasi patay na yun. 
namatay. So, yan siya. Siya ay isa ng multo. Um, and then we have this. Ito. These cards are useful. Nakita nyo ito na nakalagay. Destroy one of your opponent's energy. So, di ba yung sabi ko nag-iipon silang energy. These cards, these are utility cards. Yung inipon nila, nasisira. So, nakakaasar. So, it's a good. It's a good. Um, let's see. Wala naman siyang shield. Therefore, it's probably more than enough. There you go. So now we're here on the last level. So in this this arrangement, the first guy that we will hit is this, no? Kasi siya yung sa harap. 733. Um, at this point, yeah, we'll shield up as much as we can. Just to make sure this guy doesn't die. And we'll hit to get as much value as we can out of this Axie that will probably die. Nag-shield siya, no? Nag-shield siya, hence nakita niya damage. Sobrang liit kasi inubos niya muna yung shield. Good thing there is that, yun, less yung attacks niya. Ang lakas nito mga attack, eh. So, at least nag-shield siya imbis na in-attack ako. Um, alright. So, that means my guy will die. So, we'll just try to extract as much value as we can. Um, might as well fear. Yan. So... Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, should be enough. Itlog. So, binatuhan niya ako ng itlog. Nag-heal. Oy, nabuhay pa ang ating uh, ng bata natin. Okay, so, 250... Will this die? Let's see. Yes, malamang kasi wala tong shield. So that will probably die. Does it make sense? Yes, let's kill this guy first. So this feather will hit this, killing it. And then these attacks niya will go to the jar. Yung kita nyo. Gain energy, gain energy. So, you know, gaining energy is good, but the other, but the one thing you also have to consider is the cards. Do you have enough cards to play? That's also a consideration. Um, okay. So, yan. Takita nyo, my Axie here is still alive. Naka last stand siya. What does that mean? Kung ilan yung bars na nakalagay, that's also determined by morale, by the way. Um, kung ilan yung bars, those are the number of turns that it can survive. Ayan. Thanks, guys. Thank you for the follow, H. Kane. Uh, all your cards can be used on any one of the team. No, no, the cards are owned. All your cards can be used on any one sa team. Um, are you asking, like, can you use them on anyone sa kalaban? It would depend on their formation. Kung sino yung tatamaan. There are certain cards that allow you to skip enemies up front, you know, but those are like cards that, you know, will say so naman in their text. So yung cards, parang collection siya every time you get an Axie, four per Axie. Yes, you get four cards and then you sort of have like two of those cards in your deck. And you'll see here, there's a, there's a little card symbol here. So you have two of each card. You're drawing from there until maubos yung deck na yon, in which case, pwedeng bumalik yung cards. That's another dimension that you may wanna consider no? as you play um, Axie. Yun. And the, yun, yun yung sinasabi ko na, you know, the, the complications and the complexities that you will only realize once you start playing. So, kaya, if I were you, I wouldn't buy a god at the 50k, dude. Um, that's a lot. You can buy a very good team with that. Pero yun nga, um, you want to maximize that. no? So, I would say start with cheaper one muna. And then, you know, maybe once you get the hang of it, once you really understand it, then you're you're more sure of the axes that you're getting. And you can get more competitive axes. Again, if you want to be competitive, that's that's the thing. So, I earned 300 experience uh, and 5 small love potions. Ay, smooth love potions. Small love potions, smooth love potions. Anyways, yun. So, yung 15 ko kanina, 20 na ngayon. So, 20 out of 100. So, once I reach 100, that's that's the most I can grind in adventure. Alright? 
Okay. Um. Uh, I'm thinking if I should try arena. What do you think, Ginger? Or kasi nagtitipid kami sa energy. As much as possible, we try to save it. Oh, one thing pala, no? Your axes, di ba, they level up. As I said, they level up. Yung level up na yon only applies in adventure. In arena, walang level-level. Okay, lahat kayo level. Yung basic level. So the cards are as is. They don't increase in power. So you'll see here, my cards here, for example, they show... Um, like ito, 150 and 0. But while playing, you you may have noticed that this has 269. That's because level 13 na siya. In arena, it will say 150 and 0. So that the levels don't affect arena. Um, oh, oh. So one thing also is that for adventure, um, for adventure, um, ano nga ba yung sabihin ko dito? Um, you don't need um, energy to earn experience. I know, balik tal. You don't need energy to earn SLPs. Okay? You do need energy to earn experience. Okay? So I have energy. Every time I play, I will earn experience. Lalakas pa yung axis ko unti -unti. If maupos na yung energy ko, if I beat a level, I will not gain experience. But, I still gain the love potion, the SLPs. Wala pa ako dun sa 100, so, kahit wala na akong energy, maabot ko yun. So, ganun siya. Uh, parang magic, your axis life is the player's life. Yes, basically yes, no. So you can consider that as a resource. That's why you have tax that try to keep as much of it away. And that's why also I'm saying that healing might not be the best card to use, but yun nga, it does throw a lot of people off. So it has helped us in our in the meta lately. Um Yan yung mga parts na yan, dyan magdepend yung card mo. Only four parts niyan yung magiging card, the others bonus stats. Yes, so, so you have your back, your mouth, your horn, and your tail. Yun yung may cards na associated. You also have your eyes and your ears. They just give you like additional HP or morale or skill or whatever. Um, okay. So yung mga pure, so for example, a plant, na pure plant, na lahat ng parts niya plant, kaya mataas yung health niya kasi each plant part adds to its health. Plus 3 health. But that also means mababa yung iba niyang stats. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. So, depende naman sa ano mo. Kasi some people, for example, they like their axes to be slow. Because they want to, like, you know, they have damage deals that happen only when they have low HP, stuff like that. So, interesting, interesting. It's a very interesting game. Um, it's deeper than you'd think. It's, uh, it's very cute, but surprisingly, it's a lot deeper than you'd expect. No? Um, we think it's a, you know, I, I I wouldn't, it's up to you at the end of the day if you want to get this. We are going to get this. We are going to build a, maybe, you know, some scholarship teams around this. Um, so, yun yung gusto nating mangyari. Uh, yeah, so we're going to use this para mag heal, ay para mag shield siya. Okay, so that should be enough. Matayong isa. Yeah, so may mga cards like disable ability. So it will disable the enemy's mouth. What does that mean? So kung aksi yun, di ba may card yung mouth? Hindi niya pwede laruin yung card na yun. So ganun yun. Oops. Heal your butt. Um, Alright, go. Gosh, very nice. Lucky. Okay. Lucky too. Um, around 400. 480. Tagan na lang natin. Oh, abut kaya to? Let's see. Hindi. Bitin. Bitin tayo, guys. Um, are you the one who chooses the parts of the Axie? Yes, because you're the one who buys the Axie. So when you're buying the Axie, you can choose the parts, no? Of course, depending on the meta, there are certain parts, you know, there are certain like, oh my god, what did I do? There are certain part combinations that make the Axie more expensive. Um, so yon. so like for example, ngayon, kung meron kang Axie na yung nakakahitira siya sa likod, nasiskip niya yung tank, mahal yung mga yon ngayon. 
You can you can buy that. Now when you breed them, are do you choose the parts na lalabas sa baby? Not necessarily. Uh, there's a like around a 50% chance that it'll be the part of the one of the parts of the parents. But there's also such a thing as recessive genes here kasi. So if you have recessive genes ng isa, that's also recessive genes ng kabila. If you mix those then there's a chance that iba yung lumabas, no? So even though sometimes you breed two pure axes, ang lalabas minsan hindi pure. So that's what happens. How long does it take to breed and hatch an egg? Um around 5 days to a week, I think. Uh, I'm not exactly sure kasi I'm seeing a lot of issues right now sa Discord. So I'm not sure if it's working properly. Ana? Did you say? 5 days. Yeah. So Ginger said 5 days yun. Normally it's 5 days, but kasi um, you have to upgrade the egg. So egg siya and then you know, at a certain point, mag, I don't know what you pay, AXS? I'm not sure what you pay, no. Pero you, you pay something to turn it into, like, to make it a teenager or whatever that stage is. And then you pay a little bit more to turn it into an adult. Saka mo lang malalaman kung anong type of, uh, kung ano yung mga parts niya and stuff. When can you start breeding? When the parents are strong enough or pwede na on the day you bought? You can start breeding on the day you bought. As long as you have the necessary SLPs. No, so yun nga, each each one has has um, each level of SLP has a cost. Uh, virgins, yung mga zero na mura yung SLP, mahal sila because of that. So bawi bawi. Our SLPs when we bought them, they were like one nag, nag sex na sila once or twice. Parang <laughs> um, which is some and fine because we just really wanted to like figure out the game before we spent any more money. Um. Okay, fine. Kill this. Don't die, don't cry out loud. Okay, so hopefully kill this guy. I stopped playing turn-based combats. The gameplay is similar to what I played before though. Uh yes, it's very I would say it's very much like magic. Um what other similar games? Uh yeah. So there's a lot of like determination of, um, of like Classes like this class is stronger against this class, therefore, it's able to play. Oh shit, na matay na siya. Um, and then, may mga ganun siya, no? So, yeah, let's just let's let them kill our reptile. Okay, fine. Okay, at least it tanked some hits for us, and now we have enough to kill this POS. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Gwen? Yes, yes. I think it's similar to Gwen. Um, a lot of card games. Also, you, you, you also want to consider like any cards na lalabas. There's a probability of which cards will come out. Stuff like that. When you're at a higher level, I think you can play at that level na na ganong level of thinking. I do think there's. Medyo malulunod ka sa analysis paralysis so medyo ingat na lang din siguro doon ano pero that's the ano that's the that's the thing but of course you know it makes you a better player regardless all right so we start this with 4 um it will tank up for sure so let's just hit it with all we got Yes. Don't die. Okay, very good. Very good, very good, very good. Um, whew, looks like our guy will die. Let's use this because Yeah, we'll die. Then we'll draw four cards. Let's see kung ano lalabas. Kawawa naman yung baby. Um, yeah, patayin na natin itong isa. Oops. 197. So, ito kasing card na to meron siyang minus 2 attack. So, it, it, 
reduces your damage by 40%. So, I usually play it last. And then, yun nga lang. The next card, hopefully, hindi masyadong dehado. Yung minus. Yun. So, hindi naman ako magat. Um, interesting thing with this guy, it does have one card that's not strong attack, but pretty strong defense. Um, and the nice thing about it is that it's gain energy by aquatic. When we started playing this, the meta was there was a lot of aquatic. So that was that was pretty useful for us. Um, yeah, might as well. Boom. There you go. You actually, uh, Gwent was harder than this one though, I feel, because at least here your cards can level up. In adventure, yes, but in arena, they don't. So when you're playing P2P, um, you just, you basically have the same cards. So the thing with arena is that, yes, your cards get better, but the levels also get ridiculously harder. Like, parang sobra naman, a single level. So right now, guys, what I'm doing is I'm grinding up to um, grinding up to this hundred. So that will give us, you know, that will allow us to reach our quota of of 150 SLPs for today. Let's see. Have we reached our quest? Six. Let's play one more. If an attack just barely takes an axis, it to zero. Okay, so we're gonna use these because these are... Um, they give us shield as well, allowing our thingy, our our, our, our our pet here to last a little bit longer. So 200, 330, 430, 560. Yep. Okay, let's kill one guy. Does this have shield? No. No, yan siya. Yes, yung energy gainer. Ang, ang ginagawa ng iba, yung tank nila, siya rin yung energy gainer. There are zero postcards that help with that. Like, koto tail, ganun. Muntun siya. So, you might wanna consider that. Uh, does your axi level affect your power in PvP? No, they don't. So, thanks for that question, Tense19. But yes, um, yung, yung sa adventure, di ba tumataas yung level ko? But the axi, the levels don't carry over to arena. Sa PvP, you're all at the same level. You all have the same cards with exactly the same number. Ang effect lang nito is on adventure. Um, okay. Let's heal. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Please die. Lol, I ended the Mirror's of Rain 2 stream. I had a heartbreaking run where I barely got attack items to survive the later rounds. Oh. It's a... Yeah, I haven't tried Risk of Rain. I've seen I've seen people playing it though. It looks, looks fun. Um, is this enough? Sagad. This guy has shield. Ah, no, wala. Wala siya shield, no? Oh yeah, he has shield. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's try to get as much damage in as we can. Yeah, pretty happy naman with the team, but for Arena, we feel that we need ones with strong shards. Yes, yeah, so this is just right to get us the 150 SLP quota that we have for ourselves. It is fun to play with. It keeps you on your toes because it, they're not like super strong. And there are like sweet combos that can happen. Like for example, this guy, kapag mahina na yung life niya, which normally happens because he's a tank, he applies lethal. But that means is that the next hit is always critical. So that's that's a good thing. Um, 1, 2, 3, 30, 5, 30. Ah, natin, guys. Add a little bit more. Oh, oh this is less... Um, so, pitin yan to na lang yan. Yun. So, yung beast usually madalas mag critical, mainly because of its high morale. This, yan. The thing with stun is, if, you're, if your axe is stunned, the shield doesn't matter. 
all the hits go directly to the axiom. Annoying, but yeah, that's how stun works. So we are gonna... Hopefully that's enough. So yeah, attack niya yung same row niya. And then this guy, please attack yung one sa baba. Yun. So kita nyo. So dahil nasa gitna siya, there's a chance that it will attack the one at the, bo one at the top or one at the bottom. So, yun lang. At least. Ayan, magsa-stun siya ulit. He hates the stun. Okay, so... Does this guy have shield? It doesn't, so that means we can kill it with this, right? Yeah. And then this guy will just take all the damage from this other one. He's gonna be dead anyways. Yon. So 200 plus 226 para lang sa garin na natin. So, uh, yeah. Um, ang malakas mag damage usually birds and aquatic. They have pretty good cards. Um, yeah. So, there we go. I'm thinking. Maga guard na naman to eh, so baka sayang lang. So yan na muna. Yun. At least with this, hindi masyadong masaklap yung uh, na nag-guard siya. Hindi so, masyadong sayang yung if I use these cards, baka sayang kasi. Don't die! Patay! Oh, yun lang. Yan, so lalaban pa siya guys. Um, so may dalawa siyang cards. So, meron siyang 5 turns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pusin natin. Uh, I can play one more. I can play one more. Five, and then, mamamatay yung guy ko. Oh. Yeah, might as well. So I use the low damage one, the shield, because at least yung penalty yung Uh So sa arena, more of a card probability game pala if same level kayo ng opponent. Yes, I would say. Also, there is skill involved. Like, should I save my energy now? What is my enemy doing? Is he gonna save up energy? Should I attack now? So there is that sort of level of gameplay there. So it's not it's not purely that. There is skill involved. So are you adding? Where do you see stats that show that hit can be effective na lang up to a certain percentage? Um, oh, in my case, yung mga debuffs ko. So I, I have a card kasi that does attack, mi attack minus 2. So that's essentially a 40% damage on the next attack that my Axie will do. You have two of each type of card of the Axie, diba? So eight per Axie, yes. Eight per Axie in the deck. Okay? So, diba, you have three Axies na eight times three. So that's 24 cards na nasa deck. And then, nagdodraw ka ng cards every turn. So, ganun siya nag -work. What should your three Axies be when you start? Bird and the two other, please. Thanks. Yatong, again, um, I think start, honestly, for me, start with a, with a mid range thing. For me, it was bird, beast, and reptile. So maybe you can go with bird, reptile, and actually, maganda yung combination yung bird, beast, and plant. You can do that. Um, because, you know, we we understood a lot of the nuance of the game once we started playing it. 
and that's when we you know that's when we're thinking now okay now we can use our money more wisely now we can look for cards or for axes that really provide real value kumaga. all right so guys that's it for me tonight i hope that was helpful um, we'll be streaming again tomorrow so if you have any more questions you know feel free to drop by if you're here on facebook press exclamation point notify so and so that you'll be notified whenever i stream again and um if you're here on twitch thanks for the follow tens yes so that's that's uh that's also something so follow me there because i do go live there as well all right so with that guys thank you so much this was fun i hope that was helpful uh, and yun nga, uh, see you tomorrow all right bye